How's it going, everyone? It's Feral Cabbage here, and welcome back to Coffee Talk. So, last episode is a lot to describe. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. It's hard to pinpoint what plot lines happen in which episode. So, and if you've gotten this far in the series, you've probably watched episodes 1, 2, 3, and 4, so I don't need a recap. Let's just hop straight into it. Let's read this newspaper, too. I'm excited to see this one. Okay. Protests arise over government treatment of Atlantic immigrants. Too real, bro. <laughs> Dwarven made cars face challenge against an unexpected competitor. Don't have a joke for that one. And the Mother Earth organization fights to save more forests. Damn. This was kind of a more, like, serious one, huh? Alright, let's start the day, though. Welcome. Who's at, who's at the door? I'm praying it's the spaceman. Listen, I... Listen. I love the spaceman, okay? Oh! Good evening, sir. Hello. I'm from the Federal Immigration Regulation and Enforcement Division. Or F-I-R-E for short. How may I help you? We've heard reports of alien sightings in this area. We take this issue of illegal interstellar immigration seriously. Have you seen any creatures you would consider to be alien in nature? Hmm. I don't think so. Okay. I got really scared he was gonna snitch on my boy. I was about to be mad. I was about to I was I was about to stop playing this game if he snitched on my boy Neil. I think no, I think his name's Gil, if I remember correctly. But what should I be looking for? What's this alien look like? We're not 100 percent sure. But according to some eyewitnesses, it's wearing a spacesuit or something similar. Dot dot dot. That's uh, a pretty eye-catching outfit. You'd think an illegal alien would try to blend in better, right? To avoid attention, you know? Dot, dot, dot. That is a very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility that you've been running around after false testimonies. They're superior creatures, after all. Thank you for the help. If you see any suspicious activities, please contact us through our website. Will do, sir. You don't want to drink anything before you're leaving? We're good. Take care on your way. Neil, 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 or Gil, Gil, Gil. How do you, what's his name again? Phew. You really need to be more careful, Neil. Oh, his name was Neil, okay. Huh? Wait, is someone at the door? Oh, it's Agua. Oh! Good evening, Pharaoh. Yo. Hello, Miss Agua, Miss Myrtle. Hmm. Have you both been somewhere together? We plan to meet here. It is a coincidence we arrived at the same time. Would you like to order anything? Do you want to order first? Ah, you go first. Okay. I still need to get my voice from Myrtle down better. That's more of just like my Kitaro voice, but I'm trying not to be too loud, but I still have to do a Kitaro voice. Can I have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint? Yeah, I mean... I don't see what's stopping you. A mark. Heck, Amara Chech? Amara Ketch? I wish I knew how to pronounce that. <laughs> I really do. Your drinks are ready. Ooh. This looks really fresh. I call this Mara Ketch. Inspired by its origin. Mara Ketch in Morocco? I heard the people there really love tea. Let's give this a try then. Oh my, it's warm, but very refreshing. 
No wonder Morocco is often associated with tea. How about you, Miss Myrtle? Do you want to order right away? Sure. I'll have the Tetaric. I'm going to have to boot on my brew pad for that one. Tetaric. Uh, do we not have that one unlocked yet? Oh, we do. Okay. TT Milk. Tetaric, right up. Sorry for that pause there. Here's your Ted Tarek. Huh? Is there anything wrong? No. It's better than I thought it would be, actually. The taste is really authentic. Just like the Ted Tarek you get in the Southeast Asia. Thank you for the compliment. Where did you learn to make it? I traveled around Southeast Asia a few years ago. You learned about it in Malaysia? Yes. And from videos on the internet. So, um... How are things going in the office? As usual. Tiring. But thanks to you and your team... We made some good progress on the problem we had stuck on for a while. I'm glad I could be of help. It's not every day your research can have an impact as direct as this. Only a few weeks after publication, no less. The thing is, even with your help, we still need to do a ridiculous amount of overtime to make sure the game will be available for the holiday season. Oh... I want to say please don't forget to rest. But I'm sure it won't be that easy for you and the team. Ha! <laughs> As if those executives care about us. Overtime is not mandatory, they'll say. Please see your family. Get some rest. But we all know... That optional overtime is just a passive-aggressive move. And we'll stay longer in the office anyway. Because if you go home earlier than the others, you'll feel bad for them. You'll feel guilty? I understand that so much. Dot, dot, dot. I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's guilt. Dot, dot, dot. I wish I could help you. Or at least say something to boost your morale. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give you advice about that. For guilt is something that also bothers me a lot. Even for things I shouldn't feel guilty about. You know what makes it worse? I know the state of the industry. But still saddens me to realize my favorite series was born out of such sacrifice. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. I'm sorry I ruined the mood for everyone. Don't worry about it, Agua. I'm not that bad off, you know. At least the company gives us decent compensation. Healthcare, bonuses, and so on. And we're already used to this. So, don't you worry about me, okay? Getting used to unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be a norm. Hey, cheer up. Remember, your research helped us out a lot. Thanks to you, the rest of the development is going to be much easier. And that means less overtime, you know. I mean, I don't its I don't really have much thoughts on overtime except, like, don't overwork your employees. That's really my only take on the situation. There isn't really another take to even have. Like, if you're, like, advocating for overworking your employees, like, okay, Mr. Bezos over here, like... How's your game doing, by the way? Actually, I have some good news about it. What is it? The game got approved to be showcased at Max West this year. That's really good news. Congrats. Thank you. Dot, dot, dot. 
So, what's the problem then? I haven't confirmed my attendance to the organizer. Why? Confirm it. Fast. Before they give you your spot to another indie. I... I'm just not so sure about it. What's stopping you? Cost? The booth is for... Oh my god, I just... I almost said, the booth is free for indies. Zip... Oh, no, now I'm in stutter mode now, or I'm just gonna keep messing up everything. The booth is free... Ah, oh, The booth is free for indies. That's good, then. And the event's even in Seattle. You don't need to spend anything on travel or accommodation. It's a golden ticket. But... I'm not that confident. You pass the selection process, right? That should be enough validation to reassure you of the game's quality. If I'm not mistaken... The judges are usually prolific people in the industry. And also senior journalists. I know. But I told you about my game, right? It's... Pretty non-traditional. And thousands of people will be visiting Max. Expecting Full Metal Conflict and other bigger games. Every game has its own market, you know. You'll be in the middle. You'll. Well, I've been doing the wrong voice. And you'll be in the indie area. People will know what to expect there. Gamers aren't stupid. What if some haters visit the booth? What if they don't like my game and say bad things about it? Or about me? That's not gonna happen. It's an expo, not the internet. People are way nicer in real life. <laughs> but after all that, I'll still be there by myself the whole event. Dot dot dot. Huh. That one is a problem, yeah. Meeting that many people is already scary enough. Doing it for four days straight. Showing my baby to the public, I I can't just imagine the horror. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. You know what? Huh. So far, my schedule is pretty empty around then. If things stay this way until max, I'll come with you. Aw, oh, she's blushing. She, uh, I, listen. I'm not trying to say anything. Right? Because I'm pretty sure all of us kind of picked up on it, but... And these two right here? Listen. These little fruit cups over here, bro. I, I mean that positively. I don't... <laughs> I, I mean that as a good thing. Don't worry. I'm not... I don't, I don't say fruit cup derogatory. Don't worry. But these little fruit cups right here. Agua especially. They are you know? That's all I'm gonna say. Their 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 wrists are very limp. If you catch my drift. No, you don't have to do that. Even if you're free then, you shouldn't waste your time on me. Relax or something. Nah, it's no bother. I'll be going to the event anyway. Might as well come with an exhibitor badge. What about your company's booth? Don't worry about it. There are hundreds of us. I could just ask my lead to skip this year. But, but, but... I'm coming with you. Whether you like it or not. Okay, chill, Myrtle, alright? Okay. <laughs> Good. Now, what are you going to show the game on? I'll have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the expo build ready? Expo build? You're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Um, that's the plan. 
don't. I can give you the guidelines on what to have for the expo build. Do you have the game with you now? It's on my phone. I can send you the build now if you want. Do so. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Got it. Now, let's see. Who is this? I'm gonna guess Freya. Freya has a ch Oh! Miss Rachel. Hi, Farrell. I always had a- I had a- my boss right now, I'm currently with, but, um... Just like, I- my boss, I'm- my boss at work always refers to people as Miss or Mr. or Mrs. Blank, you know? Like Mr. Farrell or Mrs. Rachel or... Well, not Mrs. Rachel, or Miss Rachel in this case, or soon to be Mrs. Agua and Mrs. Um, how did I forget her name? I was literally just talking to her. Myrtle, God, I just ruined the joke. I, all I'm saying, damn. Okay, you know what, Farrell? Not fa Rachel, what do you want? I'm kind of a mess right now. What's wrong? Huh? Nothing. I've just been practicing all day and I'm pretty tired. Are you having a concert soon? Uh, don't tell anyone yet, but it'll be announced tomorrow. But I'm going to perform my couch. Oh my god, couch Ella. <laughs> couch Ella, that's pretty funny. They're still adding new performers? Yeah, you might see those announced this late are backups. Oh, but still the biggest festival in the country. <laughs> yes, and I'm excited for it. I think I should celebrate with a special drink, something sweet. What do you want to order? A sweet hot chocolate. Alright, a hot chocolate. That would be chocolate milk chocolate? No, that's barely sweet. Yeah. No, that's just a milk chocolate. I think a hot chocolate, it needs to be sweet. So it would be maybe chocolate cinnamon milk? No. Trash it in the trash cocoa powder. Uh, s milk cinnamon? No, because it's not hot chocolate then. Yeah, that's a spice lady anyway. I already, I already have that, right? Yeah, right there. Okay. Oh, uh, this makes things harder. Cocoa powder and two cinnamons. No. Zam, bro. What do I? One sec. Give give me the slightest sec right now. May or may not have looked that up. Here's your drink. I like playing these games honestly, but at the same time, I feel like we're reaching a point in the story. Literally, from the way I see it, there's I think there's only like two episodes left of this series. I might do some other episodes, like unlocking all the other drinks. Or um, maybe if I are parts of the game I miss, because I think there is one outcome with a certain character. I think that maybe if I didn't serve Gala his like cure drink, he could have like erupted into a werewolf. I'm not, I'm not if I'm not mistaken. If the achievements are anything to go by, this could still happen no matter what. But from the looks of things, I think that maybe I could do a video on that. But who knows? Oh, it looks very pretty, and it's warm and sweet. I love it. 
What can I say? Please don't hesitate to call me if you need anything else. Thanks. Dot, dot, dot. Other than the instruction on the loading screen, try putting a time limit on how long they can play. Why? Wouldn't that break their immersion? Probably, but in the case there's a good reaction to it, you might have people lining up to play your game. You want people? You don't want to make them wait too long. That that makes sense. You don't. If you don't want to put a time limit on it, try ending the demo with a cliffhanger. That should get people's attention. Noted. I'm calling it now. Spaceman or Freya? Spaceman or Freya? Dad! Oh no! Dad! What are you doing here? After what you did at the studio this evening? I was worried. I couldn't find you anywhere around the studio. So I thought you'd be here. We cannot just limit ourselves to this place. Dot 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 dot. Dot 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 dot. And now you're causing another ruckus. We're sorry, Feral. We didn't mean to cause you any problems. You are sorry. I didn't have anything to be sorry for. Well, I don't have anything to be sorry for. Well, anyway, I better order something. What are you having? Would you, what would you recommend? May I suggest a cup of Spanish Sahara? Oh? What is that? It's basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Sounds delicious. I'll take that Spanish Sahara. Do I have that one unlocked? I do. Okay, chocolate, milk, and ginger. In case you're wondering, I play a bit of um, the challenge mode off screen, and that's kind of how I've unlocked some of these. Well, I've unlocked almost all the coffee types. There's only one more. I'm actually, wait, what would that be? I think it might be a honey drink then. Noted. And I know that one's I know that one's called the Grinch because of the candy cane. I don't know how to get that one, but we're making our way through all these. We just need we just need more of the more of the milk ones. I actually I did not realize how many I've actually unlocked. Huh. Alright, well let's just get you that Spanish 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 Sahara real quick. Milk ginger coffee. Is that not it? Did I put in the wrong one? I put in the wrong one, didn't I? Did I like misclick or something? Oh, I put in coffee, not not milk. Not milk. I mean, I put in coffee, not chocolate. That makes more sense now. Alright, let's see. Here it is. Your drink is ready, sir. My, my. This is amazing. I'm glad you liked it. Dad. Yes? Please, just go home after you finish your drink. Not until you leave that good-for-nothing pervert. I need him. He's going to help me become more successful. I know Morris. He is not a good person. The industry has changed, Dad. It's not like 20 years ago. Besides, since you left, he's been growing his brand, making his name. Managing a lot of stars so they'll become superstars. I still have my informants in the industry. He hasn't changed much. And even if he has, it wasn't for the better. You're just being paranoid. First, you were afraid of how my fans would treat me. Now you're afraid of the industry, too? What's next? Will you lock me in the house because you're afraid of the air I'm breathing? You're, you're, you're just too young to understand. Then make me understand. Because this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. Didn't you learn anything from Mom? You were together for almost 15 years. 
but you learn nothing. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. Dot, dot, dot. Rachel. I... I'm sorry. But I'm trying, okay? Try harder! Because right now, you're not helping anyone. Not me, not you, no one. Damn, Rachel. See, on one hand, Rachel has a point. Henry can't sh shelter her for long. But damn, bro. You can't just hit Henry with that bomb like that, bro. I know. But give me a chance. You know what? It will take time for me to learn. But I am learning. Or, you know, I could return to the industry. I could be your manager. Dad, are you out of your mind? You've been out of touch for so long. I told you, I have informants there. I'm not that out of touch. Of course, there are things I need to figure out. I, there are things I need to figure out. But we... It doesn't work that way, Dad. You know that. Going from a girl band to a solo career won't be easy. If I take things slow, I lose all my momentum. If you don't want me to be your manager, can you at least choose someone other than Morris? I don't think so. Mr. Lester is at the height of his career now. He has my best chance now. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I've made my decision. Now, please go home. Relax. And don't ever come to the studio again. I'm going back there. I need to practice for the festival. It's only a few days away. And it's a big chance to boost my presence as a solo artist. When are you going to be home? I don't know. I'll be staying at the hotel at the label provided. <laughs> but that's... See you, Dad. Wait, Rachel! Excuse me for a moment, Feral. Oh, God. Damn. Again, as I said, I get both of their perspectives there. Because I think... I get Rachel's perspective of how I have to keep the momentum moving. Because, like, with YouTube... I went through some... I Not something similar, but something along the lines where... Like, for example, I was making a lot of, um, Five Nights at Freddy's videos for a bit, but I kind of just, and I noticed there's a lot of momentum gaining from those videos, but I didn't really enjoy making them, and I didn't really enjoy playing the games anyway. I mean, I might make a playthrough of, like, FNAF World, which is a lot more fun for me, but the, like, Ultimate Custom, I just got bored of that series, and even though it was doing so well, I didn't want to be defined by that. So I can kind of get where Rachel is coming from, that if she takes things slow, she'll lose her room lose her momentum that if similar to me I ended the series kind of lost my momentum there not really but I'm still happy with how the channel's been doing but I can kind of get where Rachel's coming from there where she's scared of losing her momentum and losing her skill but at the same time I don't know this Morris guy but that kind of just sounds like a creep I'm sure any Morris who's watching this video is a great guy unless the Morris they're talking about. I don't know. I get both their perspectives. I think, again, they shouldn't leave the argument. They should stay and talk and talk and talk and talk. If this game is called Coffee Talk and they just stormed out, I can't believe this. You know? I think, this, I think a good argument can fix a lot of things, especially this. That's all I'm going to say. You don't have to apologize. Yeah, we were busy minding our own business anyway. What? You didn't hear their argument, Myrtle? Of course I heard them. I chose to ignore most of it. It's none of my business, is it? That's amazing. What's so amazing about that? I don't think I can do that. Dividing and focusing my attention so completely? 
Especially when there's an argument like that. Are you saying you weren't listening to my advice and we're focusing on them instead? Yeah. Uh, no, I was listening. I made I made notes. <laughs> See, you didn't even realize. But you're capable of focusing your attention. Now that you mention it, it happens naturally, I guess. Being born into a big family is useful after all. Yeah, sometimes you don't even realize what we're capable of doing. By the way, you want to head back now? Yeah, it's pretty late. Yo, Pharaoh, we're leaving. Hope you had a good time. Thank you for the drinks, as usual. Please take care on your way home. They're out. Uh, that couldn't have gone any worse with, uh... With the dad and, uh, Rachel. Hmm, I guess it's all for two. Is that Freya? Pop it. Oh. Oh, you're back, Mr. Hendry. Dot, 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 dot. Are you alright, sir? Dot, dot, dot. Sir. Oh. Yes, yes. Please don't worry about me. Did you manage to catch up with Miss Rachel? No. I lost her. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm sure she's alright. I hope you're right. By the way... Pardon me for asking... Yes? Throughout your arguments with Miss Rachel... Something kept bugging me. What's that? Why'd you leave the music industry? Ha! <laughs> now that's a trip down memory lane. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh, no, 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 that's fine. I left around 20 years ago. This is welcoming the beginning of the new millennium. It was a great time for girl bands, you know? They were huge in the 90s. And they were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade. I met my wife while working. She worked for a record label. That's how I met. I decided to get married to settle down. I wanted a peaceful life. You didn't find peace managing girl bands? Oh gosh, no. The politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it's good. But what hit me the hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst. The teenage girls especially. They were crazy about their idols. To the point where they started doing really unimaginable stuff. Like, like what? Spending all their money trying to copy the superstar lifestyle, abandoning their responsibilities, their families, and the men. They were even worse. They sexualized the girls in every way you could possibly imagine. Edited photos, stalking, outright sexual assault. It was before the internet, mind you. I mean, the internet existed, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. It wasn't even the tar- And I wasn't even the target of the abuse. But it haunted me. It was everywhere. Don't talk to me about peace. I couldn't sleep back then. Not getting enough sleep is dangerous for cats. What do you do for a living now? After we got married, my wife and I opened a record store. It's not big, but we have a very specific audience. We're niche, but they love us for it. It's more than enough for our little family. You said you're still in touch with your friends in the music industry. They visit my place from time to time. And we still meet up at least once a year. Usually, it's at my place. Gosh, look at the time. I should go home, too. Are you going to be alright by yourself? Don't worry about me. I'm an old cat. We're stronger than most people think. See you later, Pharaoh. And sorry for bringing our fight to your place. Hey, don't worry about it. Alright then, goodbye. Bye, Hendry. I feel so bad for him, man. I still do. Spice Lady, a British, a British chocolate drink, 
extremely popular in the 90s. Whew, all right. That day felt long. I wonder how long this one's gonna be. This might be just be a longer episode. Strap in, everyone. October 1st, 2020. Let's see. Oh, Lord, what's this? <laughs> Couchella organizer reminds parents not to allow their children to attend unsupervised. I can imagine. Are there zombies in this world? Gil Naiman and Maruki Harukami to collaborate for a new IP. Gil Naiman, I see what you did there. Neil, it's it's a swap of Neil Gaiman, if you guys don't know. I don't know who. I feel like such a weird guy explaining the joke, but Neil Gaiman, right? He wrote Coraline. Y'all know Coraline? Like, the best, like, well, in my opinion, the best movie ever. He wrote the book that movie was adapted from. Imagine having the flex of being like, I made Coraline. You see that blue-haired little thing in every, and not, like, every, everywhere? Do you know how, like, button eyes are, like, one of the most iconic signs of horror now? I did that. Imagine having that flex, bro. That's my dream. If you don't know, I want to be an author. That's the, that's, that's the dream. To write something that iconic. Rachel Florencia confirmed to perform at Couchella 2020. We knew that. Let's start the day. Kana now, Freya, or Spaceman. Sorry, we're not open yet. Oh, Neil! You come very early today. Ah, oh, yes, it's Spaceman. Is there anything I can help you with? There is definitely something you can do. What is it? You know, this might be a really random thought, but I don't know if you guys, I don't know if the recording is picking this up, but his text bubbles, how he like, he sounds like the Wii mat, like the Wii Fit mat. If that makes sense, like, you know, when you, like, I don't know how many of you guys played Wii Fit, let alone had a Wii, but when I was a kid, we used to play Wii Fit all the time, which is honestly strange, because now I'm kind of chubby. You think I'd be a? You think I'd be a professional athlete with the amount of Wii Fit I played back in the day? But when I was a kid, the Wii Mat would like was like the mascot of that game. It would like walk around and talk to you in the game. It was weird. Just look it up. But whenever he talked, I feel like he had the exact same font, like sound as Neil did. I don't know. That's just a random rambling I just had there. But can we work here? Dot dot dot. Excuse me. What? Is it possible for us to work here? Why? We have learned something precious since we first arrived here. Communication is very important on Earth. And Earthlings communicate in a very complicated way. It blows our mind to learn that you need a mix between verbal and non-verbal communication here. Yes. But I can see your communication skill has improved an awful lot since you arrived. That is true. But it is not enough. Some of the biggest lessons about Earthlings we have learned. We learned them here. This made us think. Instead of focusing on finding a breeding partner. We should focus on how to communicate with Earthlings properly. Sounds like a good strategy. Which is why we allow... Whoa. Which is why we asked you to allow us to work here. Because you want to interact with our customers? That is correct. Hmm. I'm not so sure about this. Neil, normally if you're applying for a job on Earth, you have to go through a certain process before you finally get the job. If you get it at all. Oh. Let me think this over, if you don't mind. And I'll let you know tomorrow. Oh, no. We are sorry for our spontaneity. But it has to be today. May I know why? Because we are leaving for an event tomorrow. You're leaving me? Hmm. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. Thank you. With one condition. You won't be making any drinks. 
I'll handle that. Once I'm done, you will give the cup to the customer. Understood. There are other things you need to, you need to keep in mind. What is that? Dealing with the customers. Some people here come just to chill. They might come for a drink, work, or to read something. I strongly suggest you let them be. But always be prepared if they want to talk about anything. How can we know whether people want to be left alone or not? That won't be easy. But you'll be able to judge based on their body language. Nonverbal signs? Yes. That will be very hard for us. Indeed. It will. Don't worry. I'll give you a sign. When you should start talking. Or when you should stop. Thank you. We will need that so much. Well. That's basically all you need to do here. Do we need a special outfit to do the job? Not really. I'll lend you an apron though. To keep your suit clean. And to differentiate you from the customers. You don't really need more different differentiation but it'll make you look more legit for the job that is very that is a very earthling thing to do it is all right then are you ready for this we are <sighs> so I was taking a drink of mine raspberry high C okay let's start tonight <laughs> all right Welcome. Freya! Man, it's been forever. Holy wow! What the hell is happening? Good evening, Miss Freya. Hey, Pharaoh, what's going on here? Well, Neil's working here tonight. And I thought I was the one who brought bad news. I never thought this place would be ground zero for an alien invasion? Ah, it's not that. Neil is just helping out. You never looked like someone who needs help. There are a few things to clarify, Miss Freya. First, our mission was never about conquering Earth. In fact, it is the other way around. Second, judging from the situation, we are actually the person who is getting help from the barista. Not the other way around. What? We have learned some things since we have arrived and we came to a conclusion. Before we start getting another breeding mission, we should learn more about how Earthlings communicate. We thought this place would be the best place to learn. And you just agree to this? On one condition. I make the drinks. Nia would only be here to serve and... Communicate? Ah, uh, fair trade. What's in it for you, then? What? You're helping them here. What do you get in return? Now that you mention it, if there's anything you want from us, please do not hesitate to ask. Don't mention it. Well, maybe it can be in my next story. I can write an article about your work here. Freya... I still need to write for the paper again. Dot, dot, dot. What happened? The chief found out. Oh, no. Freya. No. Is that why you didn't come yesterday? Yes. How'd she find out? You remember my fateful meeting with the higher up? In the elevator? Yes. The same thing that happened with the same thing happened with my chief. They met each other in the lift. And the higher up mentioned our encounter to her. Dot dot dot. The chief called me into her office, and things went downhill from there. She realized immediately that it was the reason for my per poor performance lately. She didn't like it, of course. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you going to do now? Write the goddamn novel, I guess. And after that, 
Hope that it sells well. If not, I don't know. Dot, dot, dot. We do not understand what is really happening, Miss Freya. But we feel the immense sadness and frustration you feel. How about a warm cup of drink? It is on the house. Huh? You let you allowed to do that? We will pay for the drink. No, it's okay. Freya's our Freya's our girl. You got this. It's on the house. That was a nice thing to do, Neil. That was the best thing to do according to our senses. It was. So, what do you want to drink, Miss Freya? Your favorite. Our favorite? Anything. I trust you with this. Trust you with the decision. Uh, espresso. As usual, I guess. I don't know. Freya is simple, you know? Just get her the espresso. She's a happy, happy camper. Serve it. Here is your drink. Especially crafted by the owner of this coffee shop. Well, and who else is going to brew it? Thank you so much for this. I always wonder how your place only served hot drinks. Come on. I always wonder why your place only served hot drinks. But today, I might have an idea why. How far along are you with the novel? I can prepare the draft in a few days, I think. Now that I don't really need to care about other deadlines. And if I manage to infuse some coffee and creativity into my blood... That sounds doable. Even without the caffeine infusion. Uh, excuse me, Miss Freya. We have learned extensively about Earthlings' bodies. About all the races. We do not think infusing your blood with coffee would be advisable. <sighs> I'm sorry, Neil. I'm not really in the mood for this sort of conversation. It was just... Neil. Come on, don't be mad at the guy. Freya wasn't serious about infusing herself with coffee. Dot, dot, dot. Oh. We are glad to hear that, then. But that was a figure of speech, Neil. Ah, we have heard about this term. It is very hard to understand your language. It will always be hard, honestly. Languages will keep on changing. Understood. At least we are now to learn the basics of how human- Wait. At least we are here now to learn the basics of how Earthlings communicate. Miss Freya, if we may ask. Ask away. How fast do you write? Not fast enough, apparently. But do you have numbers? Numbers? How many words do you produce per day? I don't think I have it. Oh, whoops. I just dropped my phone. Sorry, I was second my timer. I have. Uh, I always play a timer on my videos to see how long. Get a general idea for how long the video is going to be. For series like Coffee Talk, it doesn't matter. It's always going to be two days an episode. Or for GTA, it'll always be three missions an episode with some exceptions. So, I don't know. For some, it's more important, but I always just do it as a habit. But full time? I should be able to write between three and 5,000 words per day. That's a lot. No, that's a lot of words. I am, as a writer myself, I'm about 1K words per day if I put my mind to it, but about 500 words if I'm kind of casually writing, so. That's raw. After that, I still need to edit it. That's important. I usually end up with about half of what I originally wrote. According to our research, the standard number of words for the thing you need to write is between 50 and 100,000. That's right. But for this draft, I don't need to write that much. That is pleasant information to hear. How many words do you need to write? Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. I think it should be around 1,500, wait, 15,000 words. That's pretty big for a pitch draft. Well, it's GRA Media. 
15,000 words. That's not, that's not that much. If you put your mind to it, that's like about about two weeks worth of work for me, not including editing. And that's only somebody who does a thousand words a day. If you do 500 words a day, three days on the first draft, three days to go back and edit it, and just use those three days to keep polishing and polishing and polishing and polishing until that deadline, and then turn it in. That's what I would do. But at the same time, I don't write 500, 5,000 words, and I don't think Freya could either. Writer's block is a bitch, so I wouldn't blame anyone for not being able to. If we count based on the number of words, it seems like you'll be able to achieve your target easily. <laughs> I wish. Writing isn't the only about the number of words, Neil. It requires things outside of mere word count. If we only judge writers by their ability to write a large number of words, they won't have poetry or short stories. That is pretty hard to understand. But we have learned beforehand that art is a difficult matter. What the? Huh. Pressing control skips through the dialogue. That's interesting. But I he said even for earthlings. <laughs> yep. Earthlings seem to have a fascination for things which are hard to understand. From languages to arts. <laughs> right again. But you're not wrong about writing, you know. Word count is one of the few things you can objectively judge a story by. It's not the most important thing, but still up there. So it is still a valid parameter. Definitely. Cool. Dot dot dot. <laughs> that didn't sound at all like you. that didn't sound at all like you, Neil. I guess you really are learning something on Earth. I'm calling it now, Lua. Oh, another guest. Oh, it's um, Myrtle again. Good evening, Miss Myrtle. Dot dot dot. Da da da. Da da da. I won't even ask. Oh, I forgot I have Neil behind the bar right now. <laughs> That's I'm just, I don't know. It just became so second nature for me. Like Neil's behind the bar. Like what guys? Neil's Neil's behind the bar. <laughs> Except for one thing. Who's making the drinks? I'm still the one responsible for that. Coffee with a little bit of ginger, please. I accidentally clicked and caused that. I'm sorry for accidentally clicking a bunch, but, you know, is what it is. Coffee with a little bit of ginger. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, John Hay, two brick. Your order, your order is ready. Dot, dot, dot. Not bad. Thanks. You are welcome. What brings you here today, Miss Myrtle? Sorry, I had to deal with something. My, um... The armrest fell off of my chair. So, that happened. Uh... <laughs> I, had to, I had to handle that. What brings you here today, Miss Myrtle? I did the wrong voice there. Neil, some people just want to come to a coffee shop and not be deserved. Oh, that definitely seems to fit Miss Myrtle's visits here. Actually, I'm not here to just... Actually, I'm not here to just sit without being disturbed. Ah? Huh? Pardon us. I was just training Neil on how to talk with customers here. I can see that. You're still trying to get laid? Air. Oh, no, we are not. We are tasked with learning how how Earthlings communicate with each other. Yeah, that's a step in the right direction. One suggestion: if you want to blend in with us, stop using such formal language. Start talking the way we talk. Start listening the way we listen. Which essentially is not really listening at all. That would be very difficult to achieve. But we will try. Step by step. Step by step. That's right. 
might be one giant leap for your kind. That was nicely said, Miss Freya. By the way, Miss Myrtle, now that we know you're not here for your usual activities, are you here for someone, then? Yeah. I knew it's gonna be Aqua. It's gonna be Agua. Oh, is it Agua? Uh-huh. What's the occasion? A homosexual tension, idiot. Obviously. What? No special occasion. It's just... Oh, there they come. I'm sorry. I'm late. I was supposed to leave early, but... Da-da-da. Well, well, what is this? What's happening here? I already told the barista to call the local class when you see they're going to be here. Where's Pharaoh? Miss Agua, please relax. It's fine. I'm here. Oh, you're safe. Yes, everything is fine. Oh, okay. Please let me take a breath. Here, please drink this water. Feeling better now? Yes. I'm sorry. It's all right, Miss Agua. Oh, that's the wrong voice. Everyone has been surprised to see me here. What are you doing here anyway? We are starting to think that we might need to make a recording for the answer to this question. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No problem, Miss Agua. It is time for our break anyway. So, here is the deal. That's really interesting. Very nice of you to do this, Pharaoh. It's nothing, really. Do you actually think one day is enough to learn everything? Definitely not. But we do not want to disturb this place's business for any longer. As if this place cares about business. Besides, we want to travel around the planet more. This coffee shop is a good start. But we cannot limit ourselves to just this place. Where do you want to go after this? Couchella. My boy! My boy's going international. Let's do this. What? What are you going to do at Couchella? According to our research, there are many breedings happening during Coachella. Couchella, my bad, my bad. Which is why we decided that event will be our next target. Well... You're not wrong. We didn't have to say the baby has to be born out of love. Yes, we noticed that. We also noticed that we do need to know a lot more about Earthlings, including the breeding manners. That is what we will study in Couchella. After that, you'll be very ready to breed with so many female Earthlings. That's... Bro's a pimp, man. I shouldn't say this. But hell. That sounds like the best plan you've had since you got here. We know. We also surprised ourselves. But please, Miss Freya, let's stop talking about our plan. We work here today. First, let us return to our spot behind the bar. So, our discussion with Miss Myrtle was stopped abruptly. Oh, wrong, wrong voice. Sorry, it's hard to tell when it shifts. Neil's and Mike, Neil and like the bartender's colors are diff are similar, which I guess was meant to be like foreshadowing. I guess which was clever. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. What are you two doing together? Dating, obviously. God. Uh, it's nothing. We're just friends, you know? What I say. What I say. We want to hang out and talk about our work. We're both in the same field, remember? Yes, yes, that's it. I don't have that much experience in game development, you see? I thought your relationship- Oh, I almost said relationship instead of research. I thought your research was in computer graphics. Yes, but I've never made a game from scratch before. I was always a bystander. 
So, I've been asking Myrtle for your feedback from time to time. Today, I want to thank her directly. But she arrived first, so I couldn't buy her a drink. Never mind that. I had refused it anyway. But... Wait... If you want to thank her directly... Does it mean you're done with the game? Excuse me, Miss Freya. It should be... <laughs> Neil, my boy. Dude, Neil out here with the best grammar known to man. Oh, so now you're correcting my grammar now, huh? It was a slip of the tongue, okay? I'm sorry. How would you even pick up on that anyway? It's not like what I'm saying is written down anywhere. We just know. Back to you, Agua. So, you're done with your game? There's a lot of things I need to publish and fix. But players can enjoy the experience from start to finish. What kind of feedback... Whoa. What kind of feedback do you give people for a video game? Well, that depends on the game. Well, in Aqua's case, most of my advice is about the pacing, control, and UI, UX. Ugh. It must be fun to have finished working on your creation. You surely remove some of the weight on my chest. Just to replace it with another weight. You mean there's still more to come after you're done? I'm not done with my book. I just lost my job. If I can't finish this draft in time, I'm done. Even after all that, if it doesn't sell well, I'm even more done. Doubly done. I'm sorry to hear that, Freya. But please be more confident. <laughs> I'm even starting to doubt myself. I read some of your short stories, you know. After our first meeting, I subscribed to the Evening Whispers app. And then I read some of your stuff you wrote. They're really good, you know. Some of them are better than others, but it's still an enjoyable experience for to read them. So I'm still excited to check out your book once it's done. You're too kind, Agua. What you're going through is more or less the same as what Myrtle's going through. So I'm sure you'll both be fine. Ugh. You don't have to talk about it in front of other people. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. It's just that sharing is sharing is caring, you know? Dot, dot, dot. Okay, okay. Thank you for having me share with other people. I really am sorry. I know. I said thanks already, right? But you put so much emphasis on share. That's sarcasm. I know that. Oh, Fagwa. I'm sorry if it sounded that way, but yeah, I kind of get what you're dealing with. Although it's a bit different for me. What's your problem? Burnout. I've been working at something for two years straight, but no one outside the office knows about it. So those who do, don't seem to appreciate it at all. I thought Full Metal Conflict had a new game every two years. Yes. I don't really work on them. Not directly. So, what do you work on? A secret project. I'll tell you under friend, uh, okay? Alright. I'm not with the paper anymore, anyway. I'm part of a special team. We're tasked with making a breakthrough in the studio. We need to be able to make a prototype for the new IP. Or, worst case, Another FMC game in a different genre. Isn't that a dream job for some people? <laughs> That's what I thought. At first. You're a writer, right? Imagine being a writer, but you can't publish anything you write. For years. That doesn't sound like a pleasant situation at all. My team have been making pitches. Dozens. Hundreds. Thousands. Out of all those countless pitches, only a handful got approved for prototyping. And so far, none of the prototypes have been approved. Ouch. 
There's only seven of us on the team. The seven samurai. That's what they said. So you haven't released anything for the last two years? Sometimes our team works to support others. When they're going through a crunch cycle, they need to hit an almost impossible target. We jump in. No wonder folks like you were considered the seventh samurai. I guess, yeah. By the way, Myrtle, I just realized... What? Usually developers get their vacation time after finishing a project, right? More or less, yeah. When was the last time you had a vacation? Dot dot dot. Before I joined this company, I guess. That was like four years ago. Uh-huh. Dude, no wonder you're so burned out. Yes, that's why you need a vacation. But I can't just take one. You can. In fact, you will do it tomorrow. But tomorrow is... I'm not done yet. You will take tomorrow, the day after, and another day after off. But where should I go? Don't worry. I'll take care of that. You will? I'm going with you for this long weekend vacation. What about Max West? That's not this weekend. Forget about it for now. Hey. Hey. Okay. But I can't do it tomorrow. How about starting Friday? It's still a long weekend getaway, right? Hmm. Alright. Oh, I'm so excited! Dude, look at her blush, bro. Listen. Y'all see this too, right? But I can't be the I can't be the only one. Wow, Aqua. You look like a different person. Really? I'm sorry? <laughs> Don't be. Okay, it's settled then. I need to go home now and prepare for our getaway. I'll come with you. Uh, to my apartment? Hey, if I learned anything from GTA 4, that hot coffee in front of y'all, uh, coffee in front of you guys, you know, you know, no, we'll walk together to the bus stop, just like last time. Oh. Okay, then. Everyone, see you next week, okay? Have fun. Take care out there. May you find joy during your vacation. Okay, see you folks later. Dot dot dot. Vacation, huh? You definitely need one, Freya. I know. But not now. I've got to finish this draft first. As we have said before, you can do it, Miss Freya. Thanks, Neil. Anyway, are you going to close anytime soon? Depends. Why? I'm in the mood for some writing. Then please, take your time. You sure? Do you want another drink to be going with? To be going on with? Still on the house. I definitely won't say no. Alright. Oh, that's it? Alright, then I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm really excited. We are reaching the last few episodes of the series. And as it stands, Friday, October 2nd, 2020. Okay, so I think as it stands, um, Agua and, uh, what's her face? I keep forgetting her name. Ah, I feel bad, but the, the orc girl. Hold on, I got, I, I'm gonna, I, I'm, that's gonna bother me if I don't actually, like, figure out, like, hide? No, that's a different character. Myrtle! Myrtle! Okay, I don't know why I keep forgetting the orcs name, but they're, listen, I'm not, they love each other, bro. Like, there's nothing else to be said except the fact they love each other, and I want them to get together. And also, Neil, 
he worked for us, but now he's going to co to go into Couchella to kind of get some notes down about sex ed again. And Freya got fired. A lot of stuff happened, and I'm really excited to see what happens now with all those, plus everything. Rachel and her dad? <coughs> I forgot about that. So much stuff. It's good. I'm not overwhelmed. I'm not like, ugh. The game's stuffed with so much content. No, I'm happy. I love the amount of things going on right now. I'm really excited to see where it all goes. But that's all for this time. Make sure you subscribe to join the Cabbage Patch. And make sure you drop a like on the video. It costs you nothing and it helps me a ton. And make sure you ring that notification bell. I hear people say it all the time, but it's like, I don't know, man. It's like, I, I don't know. I can't fit into my regular outro flow. So I guess no notifications on this time. And make sure to drop a dislike if you didn't like this video. And I'll catch you guys all next time. Stay awesome.